Hello, you are watching The Righteous Kitchen. I have a Blogspot account and that's at therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com where you'll find uh, homemade recipes, original recipes, uh, some I've found off the internet that are tested and tried and true. So please give that a check. And um, today we are going to make the Hershey's Chocolate Frosting. This is a delicious frosting, uh, fudge-like uh, flavor, very good, and we always uh, pair it with the Hershey's chocolate cake. So that is a staple in our home for birthdays and special occasions. So I'm gonna get started here. I wanna uh, show you, uh, I always have all my ingredients measured and ready to go. Um, I'm also going to be making a vanilla buttercream that's prepped in the back. But I want to show you over to the counter on the other side. I've kept my cocoa and my powdered sugar as well as my measuring utensils out and some butter that's already softened. In case I need more, um, I won't have to go out and dirty more dishes. So just keep that out and, and hang on to it. And then I have containers, Tupperware containers to store the frosting uh, because we don't want it to dry out before we get it on the cake. So, all right. So what we're gonna do on this frosting, you need to go over here to the stove. And I've got my cocoa powder and uh, butter already in the pot. So all we're going to do is just, let's get this uh, about a medium heat. And I always like to stir with my spatula. So we want to keep this moving. That butter is going to melt really quick. And all we're doing is just melting this cocoa powder so that we won't have a lumpy frosting. Just keep it stirring. And I started with room temperature butter. I could even put this down to low. I'll put it just like on a low heat, probably about a three on your dial. So we're just gonna continually stir this. If you've ever worked with cocoa powder, you'll know that it does clump. So this is the reason why we're melting it, because we don't want to have a clumpy frosting. you scrape the sides really well. Now we're not we're not trying to cook this. We're just melting the butter, heating it up a little bit. Could even cut the heat. Uh, I've got it all the way on low now. We are all 
almost there. Let me get a spatula real quick, a rubber spatula. I'm gonna get my regular spatula in here. I just wanna make sure that I've gotten all the chocolate off of the sides and everything has had a chance to melt. Take your time. If you spend more time on this step right here, you'll have less errors later on in trying to fight clumps down the road. Like I said, I've got this um, on the lowest heat setting right now. clumps then I just smash them down with the spatula let me get a pot holder real quick so I can show you so I'm just going through making sure if I see any clumps at all that I just smash them down and I think we're good now there we go now you could if you wanted to even strain this and then you wouldn't have any at all. I think that's pretty good. See, we've got a nice smooth melted chocolate and butter. And that's what you want. Okay, so we're going to take it off the heat and come over to our measured ingredients. So just go right back over there. And we will put this together. And I am making a double batch because I will be decorating uh, the cake. So I want to make sure I have enough for the filling and any kind of piping that I decide to do. So going off of our um, recipe we've melted the butter and the cocoa so we're gonna um we're gonna add some powdered sugar to our blender and then i'm gonna put in this cocoa. Make 
get all this cocoa goodness in here. Okay, since I'll be using this spatula again, I'll just keep it right there handy in the bowl. So on low speed, we're gonna mix that butter, or the uh, butter cocoa mixture with the cocoa powder. Now this recipe calls uh, for vanilla and milk to thin it. I like to add my vanilla right away because I might cut down on the milk, but I always want to make sure that I have my vanilla in there. And now I'm going to alternate putting the milk in with the powdered sugar. One third cup milk for each recipe, so I've got two thirds here. And I'm going to go ahead and scrape it down. You have to, on these KitchenAid mixers, always pay attention to that bottom right underneath the mixing blade to make sure everything's getting combined right there. So that's mixed and then I'm going to get some more powdered sugar in. Always start out slow on your mixer so you don't get a powdered sugar plume all over the place. So you could even just start out slow. And then as that gets going, you can put it up higher. So now I'm going to put some more milk. sugar in. at the point where we've got all of our powdered sugar. Okay, so everything's mixed in, and I want to beat the, or scrape the sides of this bowl again. Okay. Now 
Now I may not, I want to talk about milk just for a second or cream or whatever you use to thin down your frosting. Never just uh, trust a recipe and just dump all the uh, milk in because that's how you could potentially ruin your frosting. So we are going to beat this and we may use the rest of this milk or we may not. So we're just going to beat this, uh, whip it, and then we're going to judge uh, the consistency we want. We want a nice, smooth, pipeable consistency. Uh, so if we maybe not have to use all this. So just keep an eye on it. Okay, that looks like a good consistency, so I'm going to give it another uh, scrape down. And then I'm going to let it whip on high for a little while, uh, just to make sure it's beaten really good. I'm going to check my consistency and see if that's where I want it. That's pretty good. Maybe just a touch more milk. Just not even a teaspoon probably. I just use my fingers to clean this. My hands are clean. Or you could use gloves. Gloves are always good. Okay. So what I like to do is a final mixing, uh, just using the spatula. So I'll just get in here and mix this all really well. And there it is. Nice, uh, fudgy chocolate buttercream. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I put it right away into an airtight container. And then when I'm ready, this isn't gonna be dried out or anything. All right. So that, Is 
the Hershey's buttercream frosting. So my tips when you're making this is always add your vanilla first before any milk and then your recipe may not actually take all the milk. So I had this much milk left over. All right, get all those lumps out while you're heating the cocoa. Take your time right there so that you won't have lumps uh, to deal with later on. So that's my Hershey's chocolate frosting recipe. And then I am also going to make a vanilla, basic vanilla buttercream frosting. So I'll see you uh, back for that demo. Thanks for watching.